Farms, so this whole dream movement here. So you kind of came along with this idea, and tell me about your company. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we're very honored to be part of the, the NAM organization. I'm a musician who ended up with a biotechnology company. Uh, where we're able to take surplus wheat and turn it into very hard, strong, affordable, earth-friendly products. Uh, products that all products wear out eventually, and when ours do, you can put them in a compost bin in your backyard or in your... Uh, our capability with this is from... Uh, we're currently making uh, drumsticks and guitar picks, but we have a range from uh, computer houses, to keyboards, to the desk you put it on, to the chairs, to uh, twift wars and plywood, and our company is very mission-oriented. We started this to be able to see if we could help uh, to extend the forests. Uh, with chopsticks, uh, 125 million trees are cut down for wood disposable chopsticks. Our company has over 51 patents around the world right now for chopsticks. That seems like an odd thing for a musician to care about chopsticks, but uh, chopsticks <laughs> is uh, Bruce and, sp and uh, spruce woods, which most of us use Bruce and, uh, sorry, uh, birch and spruce woods for drumsticks and guitars, so it's important that we retain these forests for the music industry to be able to have uh, beautiful music for generations to come. Uh, currently, uh, we just started in the last few months uh, getting into a lot of stores. We're now sold in 473 stores in 49 states, over 429 cities. We're sold in 11 countries around the world. We're growing between t uh, 10 to 40 stores a week. Uh, by going green, there's a simple equation. Um, going green equals free publicity. We've been uh, on uh, Scientific America Earth 3.0 magazine last month. We were in Oprah magazine the month before. We're in January we were on CNN headline news. We were posted on the internet as a solutions. We were on uh, Modern Marvels as Modern Marvel, turning surplus wheat into uh, plastic and wood replacement products that are friendly. Uh, we were on the Modern Marvel History Channel. Every time we're on that History Channel, it comes on air nationally and internationally. We have a 25 times boost in sales. Uh, but like Amazon.com, you know, 90% of the customers really want to get their hands on products. So uh, we have a, on our website a store locator that we put every store that's uh, on that we're selling our green products through where uh, we can send customers to the stores. So we really want to help the music industry, and that's why we have free press releases for stores to don't, uh, download. Because the equation, like I said, is free publicity equals more customers in the store, equal more product sales, equal more cash flow. Anyone want more cash flow here? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, if, uh, the store, we talked to a lot of store dealers, and obviously if you're down by 50%, you got to have twice as many customers. Well, how do you do it if advertising is not in people's budgets, which is unfortunate, then here's free publicity. Download these, change out your name, ABC Music Company, sorry, Music Store to uh, their dealer, and send it off uh, to the local media, to the schools. Again, like you were saying uh, with your previous presenter, uh, the schools are children. They're very, very, uh, they're our whole market. They're building uh, the whole future up with them. So obviously they're very concerned about the environment. It's a third of the marketplace of a new demographic that if your store doesn't have anything green, how are you going to get the, you know, one out of three people systematically buy green now? It's a, a 4% from previous year, 34%. So get that market, bring them in, add your customers, and that's what we're here to help uh, the stores to do to uh, revivify the music business. And that's, so you, so you've been devastated by this economic condition, I can see. <laughs> and the media you're getting. So let's talk about you know, how you approach this from a this is a situation where the country and the world is going this way. It's the going the way of renewables and green. And did that shape the products, or did you just say, look, this is good for all of us. This is good for my company. How did you go about that? Well, the world is going green. Uh, there's environmental factors. Uh, there's a, the one statistic that shapes our com company's use of our technology towards wood products is our focus, is because uh, I heard a study in 20... Uh, 2001, where the UN said that by 2026 that the virgin forest will have been uh, gone. So it's a staggering, uh, no one's really talking about it, and so you can't put your head in the sand also in, the, in this recession. You can't necessarily think of the same things you did before the recession. If you do the same things, then you got to change. So, yes, we get a lot of publicity. We're going to be on Discovery Channel and other uh, media outlets. We're on over 103,000 web pages, uh, sometimes up to 200,000, talking about we, where we've only spent no more than $1,500 for all of this press and, and the press is coming at us. So this is why um, we're rolling out between the drumsticks, the guitar picks that we're currently selling, 
but we have uh, touring products that we're with uh, uh, about to finalize a deal with a, a major distributor in this uh, industry. I don't know if I could mention their name yet, but I do want to thank uh, Harris uh, Musical Products for helping us get us around the world in 11 countries. And we're just growing astronomically, but it is the free publicity that Green's getting. Why? It's because the public wants to know what can they do. When they're in the survey, they were asked, why don't you buy more green products? He said, it's just not available. So what we have as a company under one roof, we're able to do our own cat design, our own tool, uh, steel molds that last 20 years, our own injection molding with this trade secret. It's all made in America. We use wheat and corn from uh, America's uh, surplus crops. And so uh, it's good for farmers, it's good for America, it's good for green manufacturing, it's good for the music industry, it's good for the kids. This is the right time at the right place and you can get the free publicity, which is really what I'm trying to stress. Let's get more customers in the door, more demo, because if you have two or three times more customers, it's going to offset, right? You know, if you're down by 50%, wouldn't you just need twice as many customers? So that's, uh, that's what we're trying to help. And um, I... I'm uh, anticipating it. You know, I, obviously, in two and a half minutes, I can't explain what might take 20 minutes to really uh, get. I, I want to do a 500 city launch across America that we've gone green. We have the public. We're, we're gearing up for this summer, so it'll be an international event, and it'll put again music into people's minds. Uh, and and those people 20 years ago that they still have their guitars. There's something about our guitar picks that creates passion and inspiration that comes from it. I don't know why. But wouldn't you want to know how, if it could be told that, hey, you can get that passion back about writing music with a weed guitar pick? Come on to the music store, and while you're there, hey, there's pedals, and there's there's uh, cymbals, and there's everything. We want all the products. Guitar it's not just about we wear. <laughs> Every guitar. So we can all win on this. All right, would you guys go see these guys down the floor, please? Thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Caffeinated beverages for you. Thank you. <laughs>